welcome fellow folders and what we have here is if you can't already tell from the title of the video also running two cameras for cooler angles I've also changed the positions of them anyway what we have here is the first of two unboxing videos for Oregon middle paper and I've only ever purchased two sheets I think it was like four or five years ago when I made Robert Lang's uh, Brown Widow or the Black Widow and his Youth of Sonia's Beetle. I've only ever purchased two sheets. And here, in the first smaller unboxing video, we have quite a few sheets. And then the next one is even more. So let's, without further ado, unbox this. Now, it's been so long since I have purchased Oregon Middle. It was I think a few weeks ago when it came to me that after buying so many different types of papers I've not actually purchased this in quite some time so we're going to be unboxing this from the Oregon shop and yeah let's see what we have inside I'm excited I don't think I'll actually need the scissors let's get them out of frame And yeah, it's been uh, quite a while since I purchased the paper from the origami shop as well. As of recently I've made all the sheets myself. Um, just because it's much more easier that way to make and custom create papers for models. It's harder to buy the paper that I would like to use. Um, but yeah, it comes in this package. Move these to the side a wee bit. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to look like an easy ish open. Show you this angle first. What do you see? I've not seen inside yet. What does it look like? Now I know that, um, I've mentioned this before, I don't know why they can't ship um, unfolded, uh, rolled out because folds ruin paper right away, it's just that's naturally what happens, um, but of course you can treat to fix the paper, remove the creases um, etc but then you tend to get wrinkles, if these sheets are wrinkleless free then treating paper can cause wrinkles but that will get rid of most of them. But you should definitely consider looking into uh, sending out rolled to avoid wrinkles. But anyway, let's open this up. I can't actually remember what sheets I purchased as well. We can get rid of this. Then we have extra paper on top. I do need the scissors. We have extra paper on top as they normally, they normally do. They give you uh, the types of paper you have, the colours, the sizes, and then it's a good little way to figure out what type of paper they would be good for. Little, little practice folds. Imagine I cut through all the Oregon middle like this by accident. Right through all the sheets. But what I plan to do is, yeah, it looks to be only folded once. Of course, um, what I'll do is, as normal, I will unfold all of these. Uh, I won't bother unpackaging this because it's not um, what we're looking for, it's this. So put that to the side. What I'll do is, I'll unfold these and lay them, lay them out completely flat and then over time I will put paper on top of them to naturally compress them to get the, the creases out which tends to work really nicely. But yeah, that's what we have here. It comes like this. I can't remember how many sheets I ordered. Hey buddy. Looper. Is that good paper? <laughs> hey Looper. Oh, he, made, he made my day Looper so much. Yeah, we head scratch for Looper. You're a good boy. Anyway, we're gonna 
open the top. And take out, I should have a bit, I think I should order like white gloves that people use when they like handle expensive diamonds or watches. That would be funny. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to look for a pair. I'm going to do that. So here we go. Instantly we can hear that gentle crisp. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to buy Oregon Middle, two reasons. The first one was in a Facebook group I'm in, a person posted like a few different pictures of Robert Lang. He had a bunch of insects from Oregon Middle. So again, the reason I bought this was because one, one, I wanted to try and build up a collection of this paper. And two, I will fold quite a few of his models from these sheets. I think they'll suit them uh, really well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven sheets in this one, which is pretty unique. So let's put this to the side and then we'll unfold. Okay, that's so thin. Very thin. And then the question is, should I treat this or not? I don't think I will. But again, no decisions are being made at the moment. I didn't show you, oops. Imagine I've ripped it. Show you from the, the angles first. So thin, so light, very crisp. And then you have the black. Oh, what should I make of this? So many models, a black scorpion. I think that would look really nice. But again, no decisions are being made at the moment. Over time, I will put models to the paper. It's near enough got the identical sound to look to. What colour is this? Uh, burgundy, maybe? Oh, I think I was going to use this for his... What's that insect, an insect called? I can't remember what it's called. He used a purple sheet. Again, with buying uh, Oregon Middle as handmade paper, I've stated this uh, like a while ago, um, quite a few years ago actually, that because it's handmade, it's not extremely even in all surfaces, uh, uh, in terms of thickness wise, this could be slightly thicker than this side, it's just, it's how it turns out. It's what to expect with Oregon Middle, or any sort of handmade paper. Beautiful. Oh yes. Yeah, I definitely don't think I need to treat these ones. Maybe the white sheet, I may need to treat that. I think that is probably because that's the natural colour of the paper and then they will use the colourings may add texture and um, strength and crispness etc. But I think, uh, yeah I definitely don't need to treat this. All I need to do is cut the square and we're good to go. How cool is that? say anything, just listen. ASMR right here. I've not done a video like that in a while, I think I should. 
all different types of paper, ASMR. And two more. Wow, oh, this one. And goldish green. Is that a different colour on the other side? No, it's not. I don't even know what colour this is. So nice. It's like a goldish green. And the final one. This is so vibrant, this colour. So vibrant. I think I may need to like keep some scraps. Once I cut the squares, let me see how I cut a square here. Probably have a good 10 centimeter extra, once I cut the square, I could use that to try my methods on to see how this paper turns out. I think that would be pretty uh, exciting to see what type of results I can get. But this is stunning paper. Maybe Kota's uh, leaf insect. And that would look really nice. But yeah, that is it. And um, let me pull them out. Spread them out. Uh, one, two, three, four, I think I did, did this the hard way, five, six, and seven, seven sheets for the first Oregon Middle unboxing video from the Origami shop. Now, this is just the starters, the next one is much more. But yeah, that is it everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope that you go and purchase some of this paper from the Origami Shop and experiment with it, try it for yourself. If you do, just make sure you use it on a model that you know how to do perfectly and you won't screw up. And yeah, that is it. Um, I'm going to plan out models for these sheets. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I've got to go and make more Elviche.